Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is uploading directly to YouTube from right inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Here we are in Premiere Pro. We're going to export this timeline out. Go to the file menu, export, media. It's also control M on Windows or command M on Mac. You just got to make sure that that timeline is selected. So this is the typical export dialog box. Over on the right hand side, we can make our choices. For instance, H.264. And down at the bottom, we've got some YouTube options in here. Uh, I'm just going to make a smaller one for demonstration purposes right now. But the important part is this section here. So there's video, audio, multiplexer, captions, and publish. And this is YouTube. And I've already logged in to my account on Video Reveal. The very first time you click on the login, you'll be asked permission from the actual website to connect. Don't have any kind of uh, pop-up blockers going on, extra special things. I actually had one, had to disable it for this to work. We need authorization from within Premiere Pro to connect to YouTube. Once you got that settled, no problem. In here, we can set it as private, public, or unlisted. We can drop in tags and description, and we can even delete the local file. I'm going to choose export. If I choose Q, we'll actually launch Adobe Media Encoder as a separate application. And you could very well do this. Adobe Media Encoder would actually launch and start uploading and compressing the video in the background, and then you can go back to work in Premiere Pro in the foreground. For something small like this, I'm just going to hit export, and it's going to export this out. Again, there's a local, you can see where it's outputting locally for me, which is probably not the best idea. I should be outputting this to my uh, separate video drive, but it's going to spit this out, and it is going to uh, start the upload. And because it's already logged into my account, um, it will begin to encode it once it gets to YouTube. It's also important to note that the YouTube presets inside Premiere Pro are compatible directly with YouTube, so there won't be any changes made. They're actually made under the specifications to get a good quality YouTube update. All right, we've uploaded the file. Now let's jump into YouTube and see. I'm gonna to go to my video manager, and you can see right there, the video has uploaded, and it's beginning to process that video. Uh, actually, it says it's 95% processed already. I click on it, and there we go. It's uploaded directly and ready to play. So, very important to know that right within Premiere Pro now is a one-step encode and upload to YouTube. I hope you found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe link down below and subscribe to Video Reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Well, until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.